Amanda, we're following that developing news this morning. We have an update on the Hills Cafe fire in South Austin. Firefighters reported heavy fire and smoke coming from Hills Cafe and the inn that's attached to the cafe, but it looks like it is now under control. Our Sophia Beausoleil live with the latest information. What can you tell us, Sophia? Good morning, Brian. You can take just a look behind me. You can see that they do have it under control, and they are on top of the roof, peeling the roof one by one, each metal sheet at a time. Now, firefighters told me they had a problem battling the blaze because of the fact that this restaurant has gone through so many different remodeling. So the fire kind of got lost within all those extra layers of where they put different um, structure up to, you know, make the area up to code or excuse me up to date when it comes to remodeling the restaurant so there are 55 firefighters out here there was this two alarm fire and this morning we actually have mr bob cole with us uh, he's a part owner he's also with koke coke fm um how did you find out about this this morning well, we found out uh, thanks to your reports actually listeners began uh, calling us at the radio station tweeting and uh Facebooking and uh, said Hills is on fire and there have been small grill fires and things like that before so I unusually was calm but as pictures and all began to come in and I got here as, as quickly as, as I could. The fire appears to be, by the way, it was called in, I found out from the fire department by a passerby who saw flames from the windows at roughly 7 o'clock. A tornado touched across here about 10 years ago and rather than close the restaurant and put a new roof on, we actually put a second roof on that you're seeing behind. That's a second roof. And I'm told the fire actually started between the two roofs there over what we call the Sam and Bob room that uh, has a lot of uh, memorabilia of all the Austin greats like Coach Royal, for instance. And so we haven't been inside. We, our concern, obviously, that everybody is okay. And, and we're told everyone is fine and no one's even... Uh, suffered as much as a smoke uh, damage uh, or smoke uh, uh, effects. So that's the great news. I'm sure there's a great deal of smoke damage, but that's extremely secondary even given the priceless mementos. I know one concern for firefighters was the classic inn, and they actually kept everybody inside because of the weather conditions and because they were able to contain it. I mean, what was your worst fear when you were driving up here? Well, you know, this is a very unusual building where it's two different owners and has been since 1969. The motel next door actually connects, the same wall connects to where the fire is, and, and the, there is no separation between the two buildings. So after they raised it to two alarms, they must have had it under control not to, I suspect, to, to evacuate the hotel. Uh, and it looks like, from what I'm told, the fire is actually moving the other way. So uh, hats off to this, uh, this great Austin Fire Department. At one point, I believe I counted 16 different fire uh, engines that were here, let alone EMS and police and everyone else that's come to the aid and the rescue. And so many folks are, are calling already. I mean, it, I'm honored to be a part of an institution that continues some of the culture of, of Austin, and you hate to see it threatened like this, but it does look from the outside like a little bit of repair and uh, the employees. I've talked to Ellis Wynn Stanley, our managing partner, and there are several other Austin restaurants that are a part of Hills now, including the Tavern and uh, El Arroyo. And for the holidays, depending on how long we have to be closed, we'll be able to get them back to work quickly. And that's really what counts at the end of the day. They're, that human beings are fine. Well, thank you, Bob, for being here with us again. We are so sorry that this happened to you all, but we're very glad that everyone is okay. Sophia, thanks for getting the word out, or I wouldn't have known so quickly. Thank oh, you. well, thank we you. try our best. Thank you so you much. Thank you. thank you so much. And we'll have updates throughout the day. Uh, go to our website, kxan.com, for the latest details. Reporting live from South, South Austin, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News.